So for today's video, we'll go over in DaVinci Resolve, how did I get this uh, color grading uh, for this clip? Um, very simple. I did do some basic adjustment, like it, the final look wasn't this actually, um, but we're gonna go over this using DaVinci Resolve um, using Dehancer. So what is Dehancer? So Dehancer is a tool that uh, DaVinci Resolve added in as a plugin and basically with this plugin it allows you to get this film look uh, to your your image or your clip so let's just punch in Dehancer here and apply it to that node um, so you, as you can see it's a plugin that has pretty much um, everything in it and what I like to do is I like to just minimize everything. So bloom, this halation, film grain. And what I do is I get rid of film grade right away here. So I take that off, print, expand, film, film, and then input will keep it on. So what I like to do is I like to have three notes. I'd like to kind of add this that and then we can do like this actually we'll do that instead this like that and then like this so what I like to do is I like to have three nodes so kind of like a before and after um, also we'll do we'll add one more here so this is our before like this and then like this um, and the reason why I add four nodes is because this will, we can name it as kind of like <coughs> post or sorry, pre, um, and then this is our dehancer node. So we'll name, we'll just put like dehancer and then this will be node label. So this will be halation slash bloom. And then this will be, I'll add one more actually here as the first one. This will be noise reduction. It would be noise. And then this will be um, sharpness. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five nodes. Um, this one is not mandatory just because if you have the studio version obviously you can apply noise but if you have the free version for DaVinci Resolve um, it won't apply for you so this is only if you have um, DaVinci Studio so let's just go back like this there you go okay so let's take that off first so let's go first into that clip here um, maybe put this a little bit bigger all right so um, again so First of all, for the source, um, so this is where I've been kind of been I've been playing with it. So a lot of people will leave it at Rec seven oh nine, um, which is fine. But if you're gonna be leaving it at as Rec seven oh nine, you need to add actually another um, node because basically what you would do is you would add a color space transport. So color space transform. So you would add another color space transform. Basically you would put the setting of your camera. So I shot it on S Gamma's Cine 3, S log 3. And then you can use, I uh, believe you can keep this as the timeline. Uh, some people will put REY Gamma 3 and then they'll put uh, every lock c3 as well um, but I think for these two you can use as timeline okay and then what basically you would have to do is you would have to go to your timeline and you would go to color management and a lot of people will leave this as rec 709 gamma 2.4 um, and then output color space they would put um, again rec 709 or you can just keep it at Save, uh, save as as timeline as well that works but 
for this, I'm going to keep it at rec 709A. And then we will save it. And then basically for the enhancer, I don't have to put um, the color space transform because we've already did it over here, right? As you can see, it's kind of, it already kind of looks a little bit better, right? So obviously you can play with um, the color, right? The exposure. Um, so what I like to do is I kind of like to not touch too, too much of the detail. So maybe for the color, I'll put a little bit more warmth in it. So maybe we'll put it like, like this. Um, tint again, do you want more magenta? Um, so it's kind of, kind of just have to play with it a little bit. Um, but again, there's nothing much to do here. So this is where uh, the important part is uh, these film presets. So these are all film presets uh, that you can apply to your clip. I like the Kodak 200T, Kodak Vision 3200T. So it gives that kind of that vintage look. Um, and then again, if you're going to be applying that, you can pull the EV. Um, I like to, you know, leave it as it is just right in the middle. Um, and then again, I'm going to pull the temperature up just a little bit. I want it a little bit more warmth. So let's just see when my guy is running. Perfect. Um, and then you can go down film developer. So this is the contrast boost. So you can obviously have a lot of contrast, um, minimum contrast. Uh, for that, I like to have just a tab, like just a little bit of a, you know, not too much. Like you want to see the details in the grass, obviously. So I'll kind of leave it right there. Uh, gamma correction. So again, you can fix the gamma. I like to just leave it as it is. Um, color separation. Um, again, more details. You can see the grass is kind of like, uh, you can see the grass is getting darker. So I'm just going to leave it at 100%. Um, and then you can go to film compression. I don't usually play with it. Um, so print, so profile. So this is pretty cool. So if you like, you know, Cineon film log, um, again, you can play with that, have this very like Cineon look. But again, then you're going to have to play with your contrast and all sort of things. It's kind of like a, a preset in some way. Um, but what, what I'll do here is I'll leave it like, oh, we'll go back. I'll leave it at, on, on linear. I like this look. Um, some people will use the Kodak 283. Um, this gives like more of a cinematic look, but we'll leave it like this for today. Um, maybe just dim it down just a tab the exposure. That looks pretty good. Um, color head. I uh, don't really, you know, play with this. It's kind of, you can add more, um, you know, if you wanted more blue in your image, you could obviously blast it. Uh, more yellow, um, magenta, green. Um, halation. So halation, if you look very closely, you can see this halation on his arm, this halation on the metal bar. So if you take it off right before, after, you can see it's like warming up the image. Um, and again, like I'm not going to be touching it too, too much. Like you can amplify it if you wanted to, like you can see like it's really, really yellow. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then bloom gives that more of that soft look. So you can see before, after, right? Looks really good. And what I'll do is actually I'll keep keep it like this, and you can see on the mask mode like which where is it it like impacted right, um, and this looks pretty good. Uh, you could obviously increase the impact so if you really wanted it to be super super bloomy like you'll see like which honestly doesn't look too bad. Um, you could put it at a hundred percent, but I like to have this very subtle look so this is pretty good um and then vignette obviously if you add this right you can you know 
have it super bright, more dark on the outside. Um, but for this clip, I'm not gonna use that. Um, and then there's other like uh, settings that I don't really touch these one like film breadth, gate wave, monitor output. I don't really touch this. Um, I usually just touch uh, these ones right here. So again, this is pretty much what I do for Dehancer. And what I do here for Halation and Bloom is I will actually add another node, which will be Dehancer. It's just a little trick I figured. Um, so you add another node basically. And what I like to do is I like to, you know, enable all the settings, obviously. Right, we don't want to change the look of the, the first image or that first node for Dehancer. So I'll take everything off. Film grain. Okay, and what I like to do is I actually like to add just a little bit more, more bloom. So you can see when you're zooming in, just that extra bloom. It just, again, softs up the image. Sometimes I'll just add just a little bit more halation uh, to the image so you can see like if you look really close right the halation looks just a little bit more warmer so then for sharpness we're gonna go down here uh, we're gonna reduce radius to 0 0.48 so if obviously you increase um, sharpness it's very blurry then you can see it's very very sharp uh, we like to leave it around 0. 48 or 47 uh, usually 48 because again we don't want to you know we want a dreamy look right? so this should be good you can see there's still some good details um, there we go and then let that render um, so then you have a you know a smoother playback um, at the at the end of the <coughs> of the end of the video right so um yeah that's about it again thanks for tuning in and again there is also a version for um there's like dehancer for the iphone so you can edit pictures as well um give it a try you can use code chap um to save a couple dollars but yeah you can use code chap um at the end uh when you're buying the 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 program or the plugin I should say um, and again thanks for watching this video and uh, make sure to subscribe like and comment I'll see you guys in the next video